Hello, everybody. Um, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is designing a new nuclear power plant uh, as we speak. They just announced it a week or two ago on uh, September 29th. And there's something that I want to uh, share with you about this design um, that I think is important. Um, first of all, you know, light water reactors, pressurized water reactors, boiling water reactors are very well understood machines. We have had 60, 70 years experience with working on these machines, operating the, these machines, getting electricity out of it. So there's, there's nothing really new about a new design. It's simply an iteration of something that already exists. <clears throat> Having said that, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about Asimars, for instance. Uh, I really like the Rolls-Royce uh, uh, SMR. Uh, I also really, really like the GE Hitachi uh, BWRX300 SMR, which I think are both excellent value propositions. Now, this here is not an SMR. This is a large reactor. And in the large reactor space, we right now we have, uh, you know, half a dozen, uh, com I wouldn't say competitive, but half a dozen uh, available designs that can be built today that are concurrent or current. Uh, it's the AP1000, you know, then there is the APR1400. Uh, then we have uh, the can do reactors, which are not really light water reactors, they're heavy water reactors, uh, pressurized heavy water reactors. Uh, then we have the EPR, and it's getting a new iteration, a new version, so to speak, the EPR2. And then there's like uh, a couple of Chinese designs also, uh, Yulong 1, uh, OPR 1000. In the end, if I named them all up, we would get to a dozen. But <clears throat> let's just say that if you would uh, consider a nuclear power reactor today in a large scale, there's only like half a dozen that you would have to choose from or could choose from. Now, um, the Japanese Mitsubishi is now looking to add another contender to the field the SRZ-1200, a 1200 megawatt advanced light water reactor. Uh, you can see you can see the picture on the screen right now. Uh, usually the layout is slightly different from what I'm, you know, uh, what I'm used to seeing. Uh, usually the, the, the power conversion building is, 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 is oh, oh, is uh, you know it points away from uh, from it is not laterally attached to the uh, containment to the nuclear island so to speak so this is the nuclear island over here um, now there's not much to say about it really it really looks a lot like fr from from the onset it, it looks like an APR 1400 or an, to some extent an EPR like a large monolithic block with a containment structure within it that houses all the nuclear components and a large lift that it, which is the green thing that you see there so this is this is nice you know from from the nuclear humanist which i am i'm also the nucleophile <laughs> i really like nuclear power reactors a lot uh, to me this is all very exciting I, I really like this 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 new stuff and people are coming coming up with new reactor concepts however however um this is coming very, very late in the game. Uh, th that's the first thing that I want to say. It's very late to come uh, to come up with a new light water reactor, though I don't think that light water reactors are going to wave the dodo anytime soon. Um, I, I don't understand why an EPR 1400, which is being manufactured and produced by South Korea, which is, you know, 
just across the sea uh, would be such a you know wouldn't be as good as this SRZ 1200 and the other thing that I want to address here is I, I, now I, I don't know uh, what the Japanese psyche is like whether they are very um, susceptible to thing to to talk about safety and if they have a really pronounced safety culture and uh, all those kind of things I, I I don't know but there's some some weird messaging going on here and I'm, let, let me let me draw it up here let's uh, let's let's get up uh, I'll make it somewhat bigger for you so there we have it so the, it says the name of SRZ has the following meaning it says the S is for supreme safety and sustainability supreme then the R is for resilient and the Z is for ultimate type contributing to society by zero carbon emission and in Japan the Z has also has the meaning of ultimate type so bit of you know this is like saying this is the last thing we will ever do this is the last reactor that we will ever design this is the epitome of what we can do you know this is the zenith of uh, light water reactors but the, the messaging the messaging is 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 uh, first of all i don't think that acronyms are I mean, acronyms are going the way of the dodo. Uh, we, you know, we still see it, you know, GE Tachi has the BWRX300, which is boiling water reactor of the 10th iteration with 300 megawatts of capacity. Then you have the Rolls-Royce SMR, which is the RR SMR. Practically all small modular reactors have uh, acronyms of some sort. Uh, expect, uh, except for new scale which has now the voyager uh, and, and and oklo which has uh, the aurora which which i really like that's a really beautiful name so this is still this is still giving you the feeling of the old industry coming up with something very uh, intense very complex and, and, and giving it a, a, an acronym name that most people simply don't care about, they, they, you know. And, and then there is the messaging, you know, this thing is supremely safe, supremely safe, that it is also sustainable. That's nice. I mean, we're all for sustainability. Um, you know, we need to be good stewards of this planet. We need to leave this planet in a better state than we found it. Uh, but supremely safe that's that's saying something you know especially given the fact that japan has had to contend with or deal with uh, fukushima and what happened there i i can understand that they are trepidatious about you know having a new nuclear power reactor coming onto the scene and and, and, I, and I understand the compulsion uh, of, of 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 mitsubishi uh, to say that theirs is extremely safe um, but I, I don't like the messaging uh, maybe you should present it slightly differently um, and, and also it's a resilient light water reactor so that's also again uh, an, an, another manifestation of safety really um, so I'm happy that they're designing a new power reactor. I think that it is amazing that a Japanese company wants to do it and that Japan is considering building new nuclear power reactors and that there's actual uh, uh, power companies there because they have uh, teamed up with four other power companies in Japan that want to do new nuclear. That's That's amazing. That's an absolutely it stands out as a halo <clears throat> because because uh, this is a con country that has had to deal with uh, four meltdowns after a disastrous tsunami which left uh, 20,000 people dead or disappeared entirely uh, so so i can understand that there might be some 
some psychological hurdles that they need to overtake before they can really push forward. But I'm, I'm not, not too happy about uh, the, the, the frame uh, of the naming convention, you know, being an acronym, having an emphasis on uh, super mega uber duper safety. But in any case, it's a it's it's a win. Um, whenever anyone thinks that they can uh, can can start new reactor projects, so um, this is what I wanted to tell you. Uh, let's hope that they actually get to build a couple of these because that's the trick. In the end, they need to build several, not one, not two, but you know, build four in a row and then build four in a row somewhere else and build four in a row somewhere else kick you know get to maximize the learning effect and trying to make this thing as cheap as uh, fast and as uh, <clears throat> uh, reliable as possible and, and this is something that i wanted to to end on this is the note that i think is most important the nuclear industry and the people who are willing to to say that we want nuclear we don't really need the messaging of being super safe and super resilient that should be a given that should be a given i think that uh, any nuclear reactor should be super safe and super resilient but but that's we should that that should be something that we have to be able to take for granted uh, what nuclear reactors really need to be now is simple, scalable, manufacturable, uh, <clears throat> and, and this is so. And this ends up in being deliverable and cheap. And we need to be able to build nuclear power plants in as short as four years. Four years should be like a high, should should not even be the highest bar. We could do it potentially in like two or three years, but that requires simplicity and modularity, and something that we can manufacture, you know, as many components as possible. So that's the takeaway from uh, the SRZ twelve hundred news. Uh, wish you all well. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.